So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this arm off, this upper control arm off. I got a rag stop stuffed in there because what I don't like is every time you hit the switch, there's a clanking noise, a loud clanking noise. I hate that, I can't stand that. So I gotta do a little modification and I'm gonna shave a little metal back there. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put something back there to stop that noise. So when that arm comes off, It'll look a lot like this side over here. Just completely missing. So, gotta do a little modification on this reinforcement, and then I'll get back to you. In mind, these ball joints have already been redone and the arms have been reinforced. That's the reason they've already been uh, off before. That's the reason it's already easy to come off, I should say. Disconnect the cylinder to get the arm off. Let's have a rag ready for the part. Just in case you get spills. Do you say control cell? Old six inch cylinder and a couple dudes. These cylinders, 20 years old. They don't leak too much, but they are old. Look how easy that is. Fluid everywhere. My bad. That sure would make for a nice lockup, wouldn't it? 
Now with the old and with the new, it's going from sixes to eights. <laughs> that's a real nice lockup. Too bad that's not where it's gonna be. Got a lot of cleanup under there to do. Gonna do some painting. Going from this to this. You gotta shape the metal. These are brand new cylinders right out of the box. Here they are sanded, ready to be polished. And here they're polished, ready to be gold. So if you saw the A-arms, you know they were just regular painted steel. Well, I was gonna buy some new ones, decided I didn't wanna go that route. I wanted to try something a little bit different. Now this is just, I'm just trying this. So if it lasts, then maybe I'll keep it. But if it comes off, then I'll just go ahead and get the real chrome ones. But here's what I got. So those A-arms, like I said, they were painted steel. I decided to polish them. So you saw the polish, polished out like chrome. You have to have chrome before you can gold it. So here's what we got. So I know you've seen the pictures. They look pretty good. They don't look half bad. 
you got. Turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Got the lines real nice and crispy. Turned out real good. So, yeah. Did the cylinder in there also. Started to run out of, out of, out of gold on the, on the cylinders, but it's all right. I gotta do the wheel wells. I'm gonna pull these out and do them blue. I still gotta, I got some lowers coming, lower control arms coming. So yeah, all this stuff will be done here eventually. But yeah, just wanted to show you the gold on there. The gold and the blue together matches the car. That's all I was looking for. I'm happy with it. Yeah. You have to comment below and tell me what you think. Turned out pretty damn nice. Yeah, I could have went another coat on the cylinders, but fuck it. They're gold. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a lot more work to do on it. I got a chrome under the hood. I got a chrome, uh, a lot of stuff, actually. I got new hinges coming. I got a buddy's going to do some mirror work underneath, and then I'm a, I got to paint the underside of the hood. I got a lot of work to do, but uh, that's another video. But as you can see, those A-arms turned out nice, didn't they? Yeah, tell me what you think.